Every day, I like to run Dakota through what he knows. Little bit of yielding, pick up each foot, make sure all his skills still work. Usually during this run through, I find an area that needs some work. Today Dakota needed to work with the rope. He is still quite skittish about the rope being thrown over his back or hanging around his legs. Rather than pick a fight with him or try to force him, I let Dakota deal with the rope in the way he chooses. After Dakota ran around for a bit, I decided we might want to try some more quiet work with the rope first, to see if that would help him deal with his anxiety. This was Aries's first time in the big round pen since it had been redone. He seemed to really enjoy stretching his legs, and I can tell you I enjoyed watching him. He has this powerful ground covering stride. I can't wait to ride him. As with Dakota, I run Aries through his skills to see if I can find an area that needs work. It has been my experience that Mustangs, or any animal for that matter, reach a place in their development where they are comfortable. They know what to expect and they don't want things to change. Part of the art of training is pushing yourself and the horse to achieve what neither thinks they are capable of doing. That's how we improve. We attempt to do something we aren't sure we can do. For Aries, I think he has reached a point where he is comfortable with how things are. He isn't sure he can trust me enough to let me touch him. I have to help him reach beyond what he thinks he is capable of. It's a fine line to walk, pushing him without breaking the trust we have already established. When I am close to Aries, I am always talking to him, telling him I won't hurt him. I think we so easily forget that what we are thinking affects how we are perceived. Mustangs make you exist in the moment. There is no other place or time. If you are not fully present, they can detect it and are suspicious. A Mustang trainer friend of mine said Mustangs are mind readers. If you think it, they will do it. Sometimes Aries needed space. I always, always leave an escape route. Firstly, because if there isn't one, Aries will make one, and that could be over the top of me. 
But second, I want him to know he always has a choice. He can always leave. Aries will let me get quite close now, but his whole body tenses when I raise my hand. He is still very unsure he can trust my hand. At the end of the day, I crouched down in front of Aries and we shared a nice few minutes with his head lowered, quietly in each other's company. Rope work for Dakota again today. This time I had a different plan. He did run around for a bit and the rope landed over his back legs. A nice opportunity for him to get used to that feeling. My plan was rather than let him run around with the rope, I would try rubbing him with the rope, draping it over his back and walking him in hand, allowing the rope to just lay over his back and touch his legs when he turned. Dakota seemed to be much more at ease with this plan. He only really noticed the rope when we turned and the long end of the rope began to brush against his back legs. Got a pretty decent haunches in out of it too. I switched the rope to the other side. Now that he knew the program, he was pretty confident in himself. That's really the ultimate goal, to give him confidence in dealing with the challenges he will face. Today, Dakota discovered I had handy scratching tools on the end of my fingers. The look in his eyes was priceless. It was like the sudden recognition that the cookie jar was unattended. Aries is getting really good at liberty leading. 
he will follow me around pretty well most days. After doing some yielding and leading, I again wanted to approach Ares. I feel like he's on the verge of accepting a touch. I feel like he wants to, but he's still very scared. to keep approaching and retreating, approaching and retreating. I am encouraged by the fact that he can basically leave in any direction here, and yet he is staying. Another thing I will do sometimes when I am very close to him is blow into his nostrils. Horses greet each other this way. He doesn't seem to know really what to do with it, but sometimes he blows back at me. Aries has such incredible eyes. So much thinking is going on behind them. I can't wait until he opens up and lets me in. <laughs> 